This is a New Zulu News Update. The death toll continues to rise after a military plane crashed near a residential area in the city of Medan, Indonesia today. CNN's latest correspondence with an Indonesian Red Cross official says there were at least 86 deaths and that there were initially 122 people on the plane, including family members of military personnel, but it also made two stops before it went down. The number of people on board at the time of the crash and the number of casualties on the ground are still uncertain. In Greece, thousands are once again rallying at Syntagma Square in Athens this evening, supporting a vote of yes in the upcoming bailout referendum. Monday's protests at the square saw crowds expressing the opposite sentiment, with signs reading Oxy or No. Voters will decide on Sunday, July 5th, on whether or not to accept the demands of Greece's international creditors. A sea of cyclists staged a protest and vigil at the Bank of England Junction in London on Monday, exactly a week after cyclist Ying Tao was hit by a truck and killed there. The death of the 26-year-old university graduate has caused a resurgence in demands for the city to close the busy junction, and a push to have a larger portion of London's transport budget devoted to cyclist safety. Farmers in the Nepalese town of Lamachar wrestled in muddy water today while planting rice for Asar Pandra, or National Paddy Day. The celebration commences the annual rice planting season and is described by our contributor as a landmark day in Hindu cultural heritage and an auspicious day for the plantation. To see your news on New Zulu, download our app and upload today.